Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your weekend reading for 19th and the 20th of December 2020. We are cat free today. Um, I don't know where Leia is. Valentine's in a bit of a huff, I think. Um, she's downstairs, she's not allowed to scratch things and that's made her cross. So she's, as my mum says, taken her back home and she won't be appearing today. Okay, she'll be back soon though. She loves it. Um, 19th and the 20th, and there's a wee bit of astrological news. <clears throat> this is the astrological news. So let's try and get this right. Jupiter enters Aquarius, Saturday the 19th, and then Mercury enters Capricorn, Sunday the 20th. Now Saturn also entered Aquarius on the 17th. Oh, it's very exciting. And on the 21st, which is a whole different thing, we've got the winter solstice, sun enters Capricorn and Jupiter and Saturn conjunct. Now, as ever, go and have a look at some um, proper astrologers, Cafe Astrology, Gregory Scott, Pam Gregory. It's all about the Gregories. Who else? Molly McCord. Love Molly McCord as well. There's a lot going on, spiritual big jobs, and we are using Tarot of 78 Doors. I know, we love Tarot, oh my God. We love Tarot of the 78 Doors. Now, for some reason, the fact that Mercury is going into Capricorn has kind of caught my eye. Yeah, whoa. I don't, we've got reversals that are kind of reversals decisions and revisions that a moment can reverse t.s Eliot. wow <laughs> okay suffice to say spiritual big jobs are afoot and there's a bit it's like tipping out the toy box you know you like you think i cannot bear this mess any longer i'm going to tip everything out it's a bit of a discombobulating, tipping everything out kind of an atmosphere. Okay, that's my tipping everything out, mine. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I often call this running away with the circus type thing. The Ten of Pentacles is when you're very rooted in your existence. Your security, we've got the sloth by the way, your security is kind of set, you know, it's a tent. When it's in the reverse, it is probably not a time to be looking or seeking or even demonstrating um, your security. So in other words, uh, signing kind of documents and committing to something <coughs> or, um, you know, even, I mean, it's a difficult time. It's the holidays anyway. So it's not usually the kind of time when you'd be sort of locking down a job opportunity. But it's also when the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, a time to accept that things are up in the air, that things are not particularly rooted, that your security is not particularly apparent, okay? And if you can, and this is sometimes a bit of an ask, to have a bit of fun with it, to get with the programme, to kind of accept it and to be excited by it, you know? Astrologically, there's such a lot going on on an individual and a communal basis, that if you can get with um, the changeability, and when Mercury is in Capricorn, I'd say that was a challenge, you know? Capricorn ruled by Saturn, it's that kind of, I don't know, Saturn is very sensible, very planny, very let's get this sorted, let's put it all down on paper, let's draw up a contract, it's all that kind of thing, okay? So it could be that you feel kind of a compulsion towards that or a need to know what the future holds or where you're gonna be. And then the universe is like, ha ha ha, that ain't happening at the moment. Next to it, the Hierophant in, a, in reverse. I wanted to say in advance, the Hierophant in reverse. Now the Hierophant, again, it's quite, it is Taurus this card, which is an earth sign. But it's also with that high priest energy and the energy of the rule book, the knowledge, the body of knowledge, and what they might call the canon. You know, like with um, 
With any particular writer, like Shakespeare, for example, there is the canon, the agreed body of work for that person. It's like, this is the canon, this is our opinions on it, um, this is what we think about it, this is the accepted norm. There, this is a time for challenging accepted norms, okay? Hierophant in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And then over here, Nine of Swords in reverse. Now that, my friends, I really, really like. Nine of Swords has come up a lot recently. It's the Swords of Damocles, it's future worrying, it's paranoia, it's what if. Four o'clock in the morning, but what if this? But what if that? What if the other? Okay, and then next to it, who should make an appearance? And she's in reverse, can I just say? Voodoo Granny is back, Voodoo Granny. Woohoo! Three of Swords, okay? God, that is such a grim card. It's quite sunny on it as well. Let's have a good look at Voodoo Granny. Everything about this is a difficult card. That's in reverse. The Nine of Swords is in reverse. So there is definitely a kind of a reckoning and awakening and an acknowledgement of what or who has needled you, has held you back. Okay, it's really annoying me. One moment, I'm just gonna very technically pull the curtain. And try not to pull my microphone off and everything else. There we go. Deeply technical here at Gemstone Tarot. So, Nine of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse. We like that. But then also Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'll show you it in the upright. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The starting, an Ace of Pentacles card is, I'm sat on my microphone, <laughs> as the actress said to the bishop. Ace of Pentacles is investing. It's, um, it's very Capricorn energy for me. It's investing, it's starting something, it's kind of locking it down. So Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, forget the idea of security. This will come back, but just not quite yet. Up at the top, we've got the devil, Capricorn energy again. I actually like this card, but it's very cut and dried, as in, it may even be a bit Machiavellian, you know, in the sense that you may have to feel a bit selfish. And that's sometimes a word that gets a bad rap because I don't mean, you know, selfish as in getting at other people, but I mean very much getting very real about your security. Just accepting as part of that, that right now it's up in the air, but actually in the future, you're gonna make quite serious decisions based on what you're picking up at the moment and based on a sense of insecurity that you might not want to repeat or continue into 2021, okay? Um, stuff's getting real is what I'm trying to say. I'd swear if I could, but I can't. Ace of Swords, that has come up absolutely loads. Getting very clear. Also next to it, the Page of Swords, fake news, all that kind of rumour stuff and um, overheard stuff and borrowed stuff. You know, think office water cooler chat, okay? And then overall energy, and we will be summarising, the Wheel of Fortune. I like that. In the upright. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Everything to play for. We've got devil energy, okay? Capricorn energy. Getting very real. Reducing things down to absolutely who is on your side and who isn't. What is on your side? What is your side? Who are you? Big spiritual questions. Spiritual big jobs. In the meantime, probably not, and of course take advice and do your own thing, not probably committing to anything right now because things are quite difficult to commit to anyway. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant in reverse, maybe questioning authority or the given knowledge, okay? Three of Swords in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, the perk of this is that you get to clear out what is false in your own head, what is just paranoia, what is future thinking, and what is a real genuine concern, okay? 
Devil energy, I like this. This is really rooty. It's getting to the root of things, the roots of your fears, the roots of where you've come from, the roots of who you are. This I think is a very positive card, but it might not be particularly comfortable. It's a lot to pack into a weekend, I know. Leave me comments about this. Let me know how it resonates. Yes. We're going to take two Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, okay? Now we get the Hungry Ghosts. This is the downside of it. Obsession, scarcity consciousness, attachment, okay? All of this I feel is being challenged and dissolved with the Ten of Pentacles, the toy box being up in the air. Doesn't always feel good and it is a challenge, but I feel like we're good for it, okay? And then the Hawk Prince spirit communication and paying attention can't help it i want a third one hang on oh it's you hello oh yes well you'll be glad i did the sacred union this is the only love card of the entire deck partnership romance but this is like this is not um, a flirtation. This is something that if you are asking a question about romance, it's like you get right down to the bottom of what your particular partnership is made of. And we're talking confronting the ugly truth in the toy box as well as all the nice stuff, okay? Healing with the angels, oracle cards. We get together listening and dreams. In a climate like this, things may come to you in your dreams that don't dare come to you during the day because you wouldn't notice, okay? So listen with all of the faculties that you have, okay? Now for some of you as well, this may involve children, it may involve literally children, um, your own children, their schooling, the money, that kind of practical earth-based stuff, but also I kind of get for some of you, it might involve, uh, with the devil card, childhood. Your, I don't want to say inner child, because I find that really eeky. Um, you as a child, let's just put it that way. Where you come from, exploring your roots, rinsing out that three of swords. And this to me, getting into that destiny card of the wheel of fortune, and the whole thing with the Wheel of Fortune is that you're not, there's no guarantees, okay? But it's kind of riding that energy in an exciting way about 2021. Whew, that was a big reading. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I'll see you soon. Namaste.